guys, welcome back to D on the Flick. So for today's episode, I wanted to talk about a movie, and I believe it was a Netflix original called Candy Jar. And the reason why I wanted to do it is because I love that movie from beginning to end. So, um, since I love the movie so much, I have my phone. We're going to talk about it. So, starting from the beginning. The main roles uh, are a Jacob Lattimore. I think I've seen him before, maybe YouTube or whatever, not fully sure. A Sammy Gale. Um, Tom Burson, no, I'm going to leave it at Jacob and Sammy. And in the movie, their name is Bennett and Lona. So basically, a synopsis is that these are two kids that have known each other since, like, elementary. And they're two smart people that fight. You know, fight, like, you know how they just fight for, like, valedictorians or the good grades and good schools. So all their life, they're just known to hate each other and to just fight for the best. So now it's, like, their senior year applying for colleges and they're both also on a debate team so that means they're just great at arguing and that's all they do with each other i believe the reason i love this movie so much was because excellence and it's just like overall excellence in school of trying their best but the sad part is even though they excelled in everything they didn't really get to what's the word enjoy high school or their teenage years before college because they were trying to make the perfect impression or do that but I just loved it from beginning to end so also some other characters sorry I'm I'm playing with a toy I'm gonna put it away but um some of the other characters that you have to know in the movie is um their guidance counselor her name's Helen Hunt that you guys will recognize um but, so, Bennett's mom is Uzo Aduba, a.k.a. Crazy Eyes, and that's what I call her. And the other mother is Christina Hendricks. Never seen her before. But, to me, those were the top four. I didn't care about anyone else, honestly, because even though the kids were rivals, the craziest things were so with their mothers. So, it was just, like, so fun to see it all come together. So if I had if I had to tell you guys, I already told you I, it was just the excellence. Like I don't think I've ever found a movie that I've loved from beginning to end that made me happy throughout. And that what I have to say is this movie. It made me happy. Yeah, there may have been a little sad parts or like oh I knew it or whatever. It was good. So it is a comedy. It's a comedy. Okay, I see a little bit of comedy. I would have thought it was a drama. A comedic drama. But okay. It's a comedy. It's a comedy drama to me. Okay. But yes, the movie is an hour and 32 minutes long. It is a Netflix original. So good job, Netflix, for giving me something good to watch again. Um, I was like, I really... I really enjoyed this. Like, I don't know what I'm scrolling for, but I just wanted to talk about it so bad. And now here I am, and I'm just, like drawing a blank. But for a second, can we just stop and look at this? Like, look at that. Let's get back to it. I just needed that first. I need y'all to see that. See that? Oh, I, I'm trying to get that curl pattern on. Okay, I find it very hard to do reviews without spilling the stories, but I had to do it how I do it on a normal basis. So one thing I did enjoy about the movie, I would have to say is Bennett, which is Jacob Lattimore. I love the way he was raised. Because you see, he's a very, he has all his manners and he's rude. And even though he's debated with Mona, he's still respectful. And there's stuff like that, like you just want to see excel in life and it was nice and Lona I felt for her she was good never see I don't remember seeing her anything but I respected her for her drive but she did annoy me a little bit but who doesn't but it was it was both of them 
Like, if the movie was just about one person, then it was okay. Or another, it was okay. I guess together was better. And one thing I did like is in the beginning of the movie, we started at in Lona's head. And you're kind of just trying to figure, figure it out. Like, hmm, what does she mean? But as you go on, you start to understand. But part of me felt like I connected with them for the fact that leaving high school and having so many questions in my head about what I wanted to do. You see it in this movie, but you see a part of yourself in this movie unless you were a scholar like them. So on the other hand, I wasn't, so I'm just like, hmm, is that what they go through? So one of the things that did surprise me was, since they're in a debate team, they're on a debate team and they had a debate, they had a scene where they have to read like this paragraph, but they have to time themselves reading it, but they can't do it slow. It has to be done fast. That arch is nice. So, it has to be done fast. So, the way they're speaking is like, okay, I really want to know if that's actually a thing. So, if you guys see it and see that part, like, is this really a thing? I wish I could get a clip up. Maybe one day I'll learn how to. But I was just really concerned, like, is this what you guys really do this is a real thing because I don't know I was never on the debate team honestly I don't even know my high school had a debate team would I have been on the debate team probably not so don't know if that's a true thing so it was the parents I talked about um the, the parents the kids the drive the debate my eyebrow, my waves. Uh, yeah. So this is not gonna be a long video because I don't have much to say about Candy Jar, except don't know where Candy Jar came from. They did eat candy, but they didn't even have a jar, so I don't know if I'm reading too much into it. But um, their movie is so cute. So cute and so good. I just really, like, the movie ended and I'm just like, candy jar. Candy jar. I don't care, I respect it. I'm going to remember it because I'm just going to try to remember what the jar is from. But, um, all I can say is watch it. You're not going to regret it. And the CIA didn't say, I don't think you're not going to regret it. No, you're not going to regret it. And, um, yeah. So, we're just going to go straight into the last random question of the day, which was, who do you think won out of Kyle and Sasha for the Spicy Noodle Challenge? I'm going to say, well, voters, Sasha won. But, knowing Kyle... I'm proud that he went that far. And the funniest thing that I found out after, I remember in the end of the video, he said that, D, I'm not doing the nuclear noodle challenge. Comes to find out, after my research, that was the nuclear <laughs> spicy noodle challenge. So he said he wouldn't do it, but he already did. So I found that to be very funny, but um, overall... I do say Sasha because I am proud of Kyle and I am proud of Sasha. But I was also a little bit disappointed in Sasha for revoking my friendship for 10 minutes. And let me tell you, she revoked it for 10 minutes. Maybe it was more I wasn't watching time. But Sasha, I do hand it off to you. So, yes. So, the new random question of the day is... What's your favorite burger place? Burgers. Yum. So thank you guys. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Found out about the bell at the top that tells you and notifies you when I put up a new video. And thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs>